Hello, yes, both hands. How are you? I'm being prescribed. Make yourself comfy. I've been doing a lot of thinking recently. I think we all have. And especially about friends. Um, you go to, like, we're all searching for something. You go over to that, like, button thing that's like, and the theme tune will just pop up straight away. Do, do, do. I wonder if it's given us an unrealistic expectation of how um, friends should be. Because um, back in magical central perk land, you know, there are six people who are always there for each other. Every dilemma is always sorted out within 25 minutes. Um, and somehow they managed to live in New York without having to sell kidneys and um, themselves to do so. Um, in really lovely flat shares. And, yeah, friends. And particularly um, during this time, it's still COVID-19. We shouldn't leave the house unless we've got gloves. And, uh, anyhow, and everything gets sorted out within um, 25 minutes. You're not dealing with someone. You're just doing like, mm, it's too long of time. Mm, mm -mm. And, you know, meanwhile, in North Central Perkland, we have to deal with people who are human, who have flaws, who try and sometimes with the very best of intentions just I don't know about you I, I wouldn't dream of speaking for you at all I can only speak for myself I don't know whether it's a maturity or a grace or a growing up thing or just trying to be a decent human being just the best thing that I always try to do each and every time is just be there and be present and just not stare at my phone. Um, the nicest thing you can do for another human being is actually listen to them, even if you don't agree with them. But um, And friendship is about letting uh, any kind of relationship, whether it's romantic, platonic, familial, digital, it, it's about letting people have the space to actually just be and just being as kind as possible. And one thing that I've learnt recently, and I keep learning over the years, um, <clears throat> is that just because I always try to be there for people and I always try to be kind, doesn't mean other people are. And what's that saying? When people show you who they really are, believe them. And being let down you know and i'm not talking about being five minutes late for meeting someone we're talking like majorly it's never ever a nice lesson or the feeling of being misunderstood or someone just you know brushes off your concerns and just like you know it's it's not nice and i wonder if friends has given the unrealistic expectation that Friends are just there forever and problems are solved within 25 minutes. And the, the way I used to call it is, um, did I mention I do comedy? There's a clue in the name, in British Scribe. Is, do I really want to be like, you know, that Egypt character who just kind of like comes on, creates a bit of a mess, does a bit of damage and then leaves the bit part? Or do I want to be like the reliable decent person that might get the odd eye roll but fundamentally is a good character and I know whom I want to be and one of my friendships is not quite as strong as it used to be and I feel gutted and and I took it quite personally and then I realized well if you can put your hand on your heart, literally, metaphorically, whatever you want to say, and you know that you did your best, then that's all you can do. And sometimes you just have to, boom, and maybe it clears the space for someone decent to turn up, or a relationship, platonic friendship, that's more like true to who you are and what you value and the person that you always try to be. Um, hmm. Also, the Spice Girls, do they give us unrealistic expectations? You know, friendship never ends. And sometimes there are no answers, right? And 
that's okay. And COVID or any other palaver of a crisis, you know, it's just like, okay, ooh, it's showing the cracks, oh, it's showing the fault lines, oh, it's showing this can't be worked at. Not great, but surely it's better to know than to not know. Thoughts? Oh, uh, also please press subscribe if you are first inclined. You can also follow me on that there Instagram, the Impish Scribe. I ask daily questions, and um, yeah. What's that saying? The loss of innocence leads to wisdom. Well, innocence is kind of underrated, but you know. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Till next time.